from Hollywood. What? It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Yes! That's awesome! <laughs> and now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Lanka Show brought to you at Firefight Night, right of the series. More muscle, bigger missions, heart-pounding action. Tonight at 8, 7 Central on NBC. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's the new TV season. And I am not ashamed to say that I love TV. I love TV with all my heart, and, and I put my money where my mouth is. Between my two homes, I have now have 12 DVRs. Do you know I have a DVR? This is true. I bought a, I bought a new treadmill, and it has a 15-inch screen. And I hooked one of my DirecTV DVRs up to my treadmill. So I can watch TV while I'm working out. Bad, just like that. That's right. I'm a freak for TV and not ashamed to say so. You got the porn channels on there? I got the porn channels. I have all 10 porn channels on direct TV. It's difficult to work out. Well, it makes it difficult to work out or it gives you some incentive to work out one or the other. It's pretty outrageous. By the way, when you uh, when you have even though uh, most of those porn channels are not in HD, when you have a big screen HD TV, even watching the standard definition stuff, you can see all the imperfections in the girls in the porn. Um, the warts, the moles, the stray hairs, the um, lasered. Tattoos that used to be there. You can see every little imperfection. You know, I just uh, roll through and every once in a while take a look. Sure, I do. But I love TV, and we are here in a new TV season. And I don't know about you, but last year was a very unsatisfying year for me TV wise because there was a strike. And so many of the shows I like to watch were interrupted. And when the strike ended, they came back for, you know, eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that, and then it was all over. So many of my favorite shows just, uh, wow, it was like a drought. And suddenly, like when uh, you have Christmas in July or whatever, suddenly my DVR is going continuously because now the new season is beginning. And my DVR is full of shows. It's like Christmas morning. I love television. I'm crazy about it. People love to say it's bad. People love to say it's awful. Back in the 60s, a guy named Newton Minow. Check him out, Dean. He's already looking. Newton Minow called television a vast wasteland. Newton Minow was an FCC commissioner in the 60s. Uh, spell with one N, Dean. Save you a little time. And, uh... I have never, ever cared about what people said about TV. I love TV. By the way, I love good TV, bad TV. I just love television. Love the... Did he just find Newton Minow? I guess he did. I could hear it down the hall. But um, I loved uh, everything. Uh, infomercials, big dramatic series, miniseries, you name it. I love it. There is so much. 
so much to watch. I can't get enough. And by the way, if you're not into reality shows, which I'm, I'm not, there's still plenty of TV. Don't let anybody tell you it's all reality shows. Don't let, don't let the Emmy Awards fool you into thinking that it's all reality shows. Now it's not. There are great shows. Some of my favorite shows, I'll tell you some of my favorite shows. These may not be your favorite shows. Maybe there's shows you want to check out because you haven't, okay? Uh, I still watch The Office religiously. That that show is great, and it's coming back. And I, I can't wait to see it. I heard there might be an Office spinoff this winter. So I, I can't wait to find out if that's true and who's going to be on it and what it's going to be like. Love it. Um, Hate to admit it. No, I don't hate to admit it. You'd be surprised, though. I like Two and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men is an amazing show, not only because it's really funny, and it's funny in a way that people who like this show would, would like it, but uh, on top of all of that, it is the highest, not only the highest rated sitcom on TV, even in reruns, it has huge, it has huge ratings. People like the reruns of the show. I don't know if you read the TV ratings. Two and a half men is, is, is even hot the second time around. And it's sibling the Big Bang Theory, produced by the same guy, Chuck Lorre, who produces Two and a Half Men. Very well written, very funny shows. Like them. I watch Saturday Night Live every week. Sometimes I go ba doop ba doop ba doop to get to the good stuff. Uh, I will do that occasionally. You know, if there's a host on there I'm not that thrilled about, Michael Phelps, uh, I will then skip through and get to the stuff I want to see. But it's definitely there on my uh, it's on my DVR every week. It's there. Every week. Never miss it. Uh, Boston Legal. I still like Boston Legal. Um, it, it's a weird show because really the show is, for the most part, it's uh, James Peter and William Shatner. And their interaction. And, and it's just this rotating series of whoever happens to be working on the show that week. But um, the whole show is just a vehicle for those two. And they've won a variety of uh, Emmy Awards and stuff for their work, and they're so good at it. So uh, Boston Legal, I'm glad to see that back. And um, I, I just can't stop watching on cable. I'm watching Mad Men, which, uh, as you see, it uh, won an Emmy Award. Uh, Entourage is back, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm DVRing that every week on HBO. By the way, Mad Men, if you haven't seen it, that's a show you have to see. Especially if you like our show, you got to watch Mad Men. Mad Men has a small audience, like so many shows that win Emmy Awards, but this show is really good. If you want to see what it was like to be a guy working for an ad, ad agency in the 60s, with these guys grabbing the asses of the chicks in the office and stuff. I mean, really, if you like this show, you like Mad Men. No doubt about it. And um, Californication's coming back. I'll watch it. I didn't like the ending of Californication on Showtime last year, but I'll watch it. But uh, put it this way. I am not one of these TV snobs, okay? I'm not one of these people who tells you I watch PBS or I watch Bravo or what. No. I like TV. I like it. You know, I'm, I'm not embarrassed to say so. And um, I've got, by the way, hundreds of hours of programming. I could never possibly watch all of it because I, it's on my DVR, and I just keep plowing through it. Last night, I think I plowed through about four hours of shows. But, um, you know, very, very excited to have a new season of TV. And hopefully the Screen Actors Guild, of which I'm a member, will not be going on strike. So that we will get a steady supply of TV all the way through to the May sweeps. Well, that is my fervent hope. So I'm wondering if you're watching TV this fall. I'm wondering what you're watching. I'm wondering if any of this stuff is particularly appealing. Are there shows that we're missing that you think we ought to be watching? Time to tell us, baby. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Folks, if you can hear Tom's voice, you better listen up. You better listen up good. Tom Likas Show. The 
Tom Likas show here at 1-800-5800-TOM. New TV season. What are you watching? Is that Jack Silver? The Vice President of Programming. FM Talk Programming. It's quite the far-flung empire. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jack. How's it going, my brother? Uh, it's doing okay. Well, you know, it's funny. You're talking, and I, I normally don't like to commandeer the show because, you know, you're a KG veteran. You, the last thing you need is a program mangler to screw up the whole show. Yes. But you and I were talking about this recently, and I thought it, maybe this is a good time to bring it up. Somehow, I've crossed over to the dark side. No. I'm watching Dancing with the Stars. Oh, don't tell me. Honestly, I, I swear to God. I don't know what the hell happened, Tom. Normally, I'm a sports center guy. Right. Normally, I'm a Monday night football guy, Sunday night football guy. <laughs> Crap, I even watched the Ryder Cup. The oh, Ryder yeah. Cup. Well, the Ryder, you know, I can buy the Ryder Cup, but Dancing with the Stars? You know, and, and I figured it out. My, so my two favorite shows of the last week were Dancing with the Stars, and for, and here's the reason, and, and it, it's very simple. The chicks on that are in fire. You, this Julianne Huff, who was like Adam Carolla's former dance partner, the little blondie, I mean, that woman's tuchus is on a swivel. Really? Yeah. I mean, that. Now you got Brooke Burke, this other hottie, and they're always wearing those little slinky dresses that are awesome. Um, there's some other hot Latina on there. I think her name is Cheryl Burke. And they even got Tony Braxton. They dusted her off. The only one I don't like is, is, is 82-year-old Clitoris Leachman. I, I find her a little... It doesn't work for me. She had a nice rack in her day. Uh, 40 years ago. Yeah, but now, now so, so I don't know how, how I've turned into it. I, I don't think I'm watching it for any of the dancing, and certainly not that idiot host and the girl in there, but, but the chicks are hot. And the other show I saw recently, which was amazing, was, and I, I recommend this for everybody because I think it comes up about every fourth hour, uh, is the best damn swimsuit pageant, period. Well, yes, with the, the Hooters girls. <laughs> oh, Christ, Tom. you got to watch this thing. It's literally... What makes you think I haven't already watched it yet? I know you have. You, I know you like the, the hot novella, the hot chicks on all the novellas. Oh, yes. But but this, I think, beats it, because this is one hot chick, after, one Hooters chick after another. Bang, bang, swimsuit, bang. And these guys, when the chicks turn around for the, for the, for the back end shot, yeah. the camera doesn't pan away. Right, it stays tight on the on the tight unit. Yes, and I, well, put it this way: I, I, you know, where I saw it, I was at uh, Stable Center for the Kings uh, preseason game the other night, yeah. and I was in the uh, chairman's room, which is the bar where Jack Nicholson hangs out during the Laker games. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the Kings game, there I was down there with Roberto, the bartender, and there was right because the Kings game had ended, and there was best damn uh, beauty pageant, and uh, I love it because really, it's if guys were going to watch a beauty pageant. It's everything the guys want and nothing more. There's no talent competition. Right. There's no interviewing them about world peace. You just get to see those bodies, and it's one after another. You don't even have to have the sound up. No, it's it's an excellent show. That, and I am looking forward to Californication kicking in this weekend. I think Entourage, the first three shows of the new season, have been pretty damn good. Um, other than that, just, just take me out Jack Silver style. Oh, okay, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. By the way, Californication. How do you like that? David Duchovny plays a sex addict, and uh, now David Duchovny is in uh, rehab for being a sex addict. Did you hear about this? Taylor said, uh, "Get help, or I'm through." According to what I read. Wow. Now, Californication last year had a pussy ending. I didn't like it. It was almost as if they weren't sure they were going to get renewed until they, they put a happy ending on it. And then they got renewed. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'll watch it again. Yes, I will. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's a new TV season, folks. Al on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Hey, you know, just one great show that I, you know, I anticipate when it comes on, but it's not on until... I think January or February, but it's called Rescue Me because it's got everything from drama, excitement, sex. Um... Well, it's a guy show. There's no doubt about that. And Gary turned me on to Rescue Me. I had not watched it. And uh, Gary lent me his DVD, and I got a look at uh, some of the episodes, and Dennis Leary is good. And, uh, of course, he was involved in creating this show and creating a vehicle for himself, which is probably the best way to do it. 
when you've got unique talents like Dennis Leary does. Oh, and he he bangs the heck out of all these girls on there. Yeah, yeah, it's on FX, and uh, it's a guy show for sure. Oh, it's definitely a guy show, you know. And, and the women, not all the women are extremely hot, like the the drunk sister. But I mean, once she gets wasted, who wouldn't want to bang her? That's exactly well. That's that's how most people feel. Most guys will, you know, you get wasted, you'll do just about anything. <laughs> you know what, Tom? I love your show. I love watching the new shows that are coming out. Can you take me out old style? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking about the new TV season. What are you watching, Jose? What's up, Tom? Not much. I am watching House, Sons of Anarchy, and History Channel. History Channel is like my spice channel, dude. Really? Yeah, I, I can't get enough of that stuff, man. Now, now, Sons of Anarchy. What's that about? I've heard the title, but I've never seen the show. Uh. I've never seen any episode of The Sopranos, but if I can uh, picture the Sopranos version of a biker show, that would be it, dude. Got some good good action in it, uh, good acting. I don't recognize any of the major stars, although one of the guys is in there. It's uh, He kind of looks like the guy who did Hellboy, but um, I could be wrong, you know. But, yeah, honestly, it's a, it's a really good show. First, uh, first, first episode, I was hooked. So you would recommend it for my DVR? Definitely. That's, that's a good show, dude. Really good. Well, thank you for that, Jose. Let's go to Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ryan. How are you, buddy? I'm doing okay. I care, too. Hey, listen, I uh, want to talk to you about, uh, li listen, Showtime's got it covered. I'm I'm really impressed with Showtime lately. Uh want to talk about two shows. Let's first talk about Dexter. If you haven't seen this show, you've got to see it. Now, Dexter is one of these shows, and yeah, everybody's got their show like this, okay? Dexter's one of these shows. Everybody I know comes to me and says, you got to watch this show. And I tell everybody, you know what? I'm going to set the DVR for that show, and I never do. And so I know I should be watching it. I know I should at least be recording it. And for some reason, it just slips my mind, and I haven't gotten around to it. But everybody tells me it's great. It's it's unbelievable, and you should be recording it. And, and it's one of those shows where you got to start at the first season. So if you can't get your hands on the first season, you go first, second, and then obviously now the third starting up. But uh, it would definitely up if you cut those first two seasons. Uh, unbelievable show. Another show I want to talk about, unbelievable on uh, Showtime as well, is The Tudors. And, uh, the Tudors. Now, and again, show. that's another show I've heard about. I was probably watching Weeds or Californication or something and saw a promo for it. But what's it about? Uh, the Tudors is about uh, King Henry VIII uh, in the 15th century and all about his court. And uh, he was the king who uh, decapitated and cut off the wife, his heads of all of his wives. So, I mean, it's a really interesting story. Um, then bring bring back Californication, that's an awesome show as well. And that was a pussy way to go out uh, at the end of the, the season. I, I like the show, and then they had that ending to for the first season, and it just pissed me off. Yeah, it pissed me off as well. But uh, I want to put in my two cents, Tom, those two shows. If you haven't seen them, check them out. Uh, to everyone out there, pleasure talking to you, Tom. Uh, you are one of the greats. Uh, can you take me out? Don't tease me, bro, style. Here you go, Ryan. What did I do? Get off me. 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 Get the f*** off me, man. I didn't do anything. Don't tease me, bro. Don't tease me. I didn't do anything. Ow! 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 one 800 800 tom Here comes Danielle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Um, I have a couple shows that I'm watching. Um, the new show, Fringe, fantastic. I've Fringe, what, it. what is it? Well, it's uh, it's almost x file in that it's... Um, x file Yeah. Is that you now know. an adjective? It's an, kind of an x file show. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, it, it has a little bit of a crazy professor... And things are a little out of there, you know, out out there a little bit. Um, but fantastic show. It's funny, um, but yet very um, dramatic. So I'm loving that show. Another show is on top um, is on BBC called Top Gear. Um, non yeah, this show, is BBC but... America. Yeah. Uh, BBC America. That's a, got a very small select audience. Uh, tell me about Top Gear. Well, it's definitely a man show, but it's fantastic. It um, they just 
test out new cars, and most of them aren't here in America. Um, and they test them on this track, and, and they see how fast they go. They do anything from Chevy Cavaliers to Maserati. Now, it's- you know, if I am, um, let's just say, a little buzzed, oh, for drinking wine, of course, um, I love watching shows like that. I love shows where they're testing out cars. They can be doing the simplest things. In fact, the simpler, the better. Testing out cars, NASCAR time trials, anything with cars. I'll watch that. It's fantastic. And it's funny. Sometimes they, uh, there's three hosts and sometimes they have competitions on like who can build a car to float and they'll float it across a channel or. Hey, 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 hey. Zero tolerance policy. <laughs> the S word, Tom. If you're uh, if you're ever uh, you know got a little buzz, uh, wine buzz, of course, of course. Try uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives on the food channel. I have seen food that network. show. Oh. <laughs> and those diners that all look like uh, you know the caboose of a train. Yes. So many of those with the neon and everything. Oh. oh yes. And some of those places, you know, if if I am buzzed on wine. <laughs> yes. um, suddenly, I really want to go out for a cheeseburger. Because that's what wine does to me. Yes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, man? Long time listener, first time caller. Doing okay, Jason. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I got two shows for you. Can one of them be a reality? You said I've ever seen The Ultimate Fighter? What? The Ultimate Fighter on Spike TV. Oh, The Ultimate Fighter. That's a series? It's a series, man. It's in uh, season eight right now. They do two a year. That show was awesome, bro. It's as real as it could get. You know, you got to fight to get on the show. It's a it's a true show. So it's man. a reality it's show, and people are trying to be uh, Ultimate Fighters. Yeah, they're trying to make it into the UFC. That show is freaking awesome, Tom. Did you say it. they make two episodes a year? Two, yeah, two seasons a year. Two seasons a year, man. They give two out like seasons about a year. anywhere from two to four contracts a year. It's awesome. All right. Do you, do you ever watch Spike? Hey, 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 and the, hey, the other show, Prison Break, man. Do you ever watch that? I have never seen Prison Break. Tell me about it. Watch the first season of Prison Break, and you'll get hooked. It's about, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's about uh, somebody's brother got illegally uh, charged for murder. Right, and he's actually on death row. The only way to get him out is if he goes in and breaks him out. You know, and it's an awesome, it's an awesome show. The first season is great. Uh, so the they break character. out of prison. They break out of prison, and you know the series is a it? bunch of people who broke out of prison. It is, it's, it's like the fugitive, except they all broke out of prison. Pretty much, yeah. And now they're on the run. You know, and it's, 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 it's just I don't want to ruin it for you know you. You, you really got to watch the first season, and I promise you, you will get hooked. The show is awesome. My fear when I watch a show like that, and I, I'm I'm being honest, I don't know, this might be the highest rated show on Fox other than American Idol, and I could be totally wrong, but um, my fear with shows like that is that if the ratings aren't high enough, the network just cancels it all of a sudden when I get uh, engrossed in it. Uh, no, yeah. no, hey, you don't got to fear for that, man. That hey, won't Tom, happen. I'm telling you, hey, I'm telling you, watch that show, but hey, can you, I got to go. Can you take me out the bonkers? Uh, yes, I can, Jason. All right, now check the clock, okay? It's 3.30 on the dot. Beep right now. Well, or 7.30, depending on where you're listening. When you're listening, it's half past the hour. And it's the Tom Likas Show. And what we're doing here is we're talking about the new TV season. We're talking about the shows you're watching. We're talking about the shows that maybe I ought to stick on my DVR so I can be up to speed. Mike on the Tom Likas Show, hello. What's up, Tom? How are you? I'm doing okay, Mike. Good. Hey, let me start off by saying, you know, like, I have an NFL Sunday ticket, so I love to watch football, but and my wife got me hooked on two shows, and I, and I, and I God, I know you're just going to make fun of me. It's uh, Gossip Girl and 90210. You're hooked on both those shows. Dude, they're, they're active. You know, I have no drama in my life at all, and it's like watching those shows just kind of gets, like, all the, the drama out, you know? It's just I watch other people, and I go... I mean, they're really good shows because I like to get, you know, into them. But I see just how stupid some people are and all the, the the drama and all that. And I'm like, God, I'm so glad my life is not like that. But you're but, watching these shows. 
because I'm hooked on them. They're cool. They're, they they are. Well, Nine oh two and O's only been on for like three weeks. Yeah, and you're and, hooked and already. Watch, I, well, they leave you hooked every week, so you have to watch the next week to to know what's going on. So, so all right, so uh, update us, Mike. What's happening on nine oh two one oh? Oh well, this this family moved from like uh, what, what's the the Wizard of Oz that town that uh, Kansas? Yes, yeah, they came from well, there Oz. to LA. It's like this this uh, this girl and her her brother and her brother's adopted, and so anyways, they like go to um, this new school, and their dad happens to be the principal, and um, the kid gets on the football team. I mean, it's just like a really long story on how to like get into it, but it's like it it's. Oh, it, it, there's just like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. You, like, every freaking 30 seconds, there's some new drama or something, and it's just like, you know, I mean, after a while, the drama gets kind of old, but I mean, I, I couldn't tell you what it's exactly about without you watching it. You can't tell me what the show's about. Well, I mean... But oh, you're I, hooked. Well, do, you, do you got, like, a half hour? Because, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of complicated. Well, you can just tell me the basic concept. Well, the basic concept is there's um, there's this one chick, and she likes, like, two different guys, and but she can't make up her mind. And the dad, well, the main thing is the dad of the two kids is the principal. So all right. the other kids are like pissed off about that and give them a hard time. And um, you know, there's like boy and girl and sex and all this kind of stuff all in the one. Well, you get back to me if any of the teachers having sex with the students. So I, it's something realistic. <laughs> okay. And Gossip Girl, what is that? Oh, Gossip Girl. That, that's I think that show's been on for a few seasons, but. Gossip Girl is like um, about like these really rich, arrogant people that are just richer than God, and they're not like literally, but they got like a whole lot of money, and they're just <laughs> not literally rapping. richer than God. God's well, God's got thousands of dollars. So, anyway, but yeah, it's just it's like a bunch of rich kids, and you watch them. It's, it's rich kids. But what? Well, what's the? What do they do? They're just rich kids. Well, they're rich kids, and then they, like, try to hook up with each other's boyfriends and girlfriends, and then they go, like, on vacations, and then this one chick got, like, really drunk, and then she ended up hooking up with, like, three different guys or something in one night, and then the other guy was mad, and then the one kid is not rich at all, but I don't, I don't know. I got a feeling you're making fun of me by me telling you this. <laughs> now, let me, yeah, I'm just curious, living here in L.A., Mike, after you've watched Gossip Girl on 90210, do you watch the KTLA Prime News after that? Uh, I, I do watch. I do watch the news. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. I just had to check. Yeah, I do. I, I watch. <laughs> do watch the news, but no, those are just like the two girliest shows that I watch with my wife. But I like other shows, you know, like CSI and definitely football. Huge football fan. You had to get that in. I did. <laughs> do you? You watch Bravo and A and E too? Oh no, I don't, Tom. So these are the only two girl shows you watch? Yes. Yeah. Oxygen. Do you watch Oxygen? Do you watch the Wee Channel? Uh, the Wii Channel. W E, not W I I. No, that's what the W E stands for Women's Entertainment. Oh, I haven't even haven't even heard of it. Lifetime, you watch Lifetime. 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 Oh, Lifetime. No. No. I watch Lifetime. Just checking. You're totally grilling me, Tom. I'm just. <laughs> I don't. I'm not a homo. Come on. <laughs> just checking. You watch Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl's cool. I'm, you know what? They had a thing on the internet. I was reaching it. Like when I signed on the AOL, and this thing popped up, and it said, like, uh, something about Gossip Girl, and, like, guys shouldn't be afraid to watch it because, like, they have more guy viewers than any other show. Boy, they do not have more guy viewers than any other show. Or not, I mean, not, like, then, ah, uh, that totally came out retarded and wrong. But, no, it's like, guys, I don't, I don't remember. But it, it had something to do with guys, like, that it's okay for them to watch that. Well, yeah, they, they'll be, you know, it's the CW network. They'll take anybody they can get. I guess so. You know how that works, Mike. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You are the voice of reason in this godforsaken world. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. New TV season. 
Hallelujah. May we get a whole season this year. With all new shows for an entire season. What are you watching? What, is, what should I have on my DVR? What am I missing? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Let's say hello here to uh, Vincent on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I just want to let you know about uh, how I met your mother. What do you want to tell me about it? Uh, there's uh, one character on there. His name's Barney Stenson. It's uh, Doogie Hauser. The, the old Doogie Hauser character. He uh, He's like the womanizer on the show. He just, I, I feel like he lives by your rules. I feel whoever writes his part listens to you. I wouldn't be out of the question. <laughs> yeah, he just, it, I, I watch him and I think about you every time I see that show on Monday night. And, and you, you find him a convincing character? I find him very convincing. I, I feel like it's, uh, it's you on TV. Because you know, the, the actor who plays him, Neil Patrick Harris, is gay. Yeah. But he, so he plays a pretty. If he's convincing, that's guy. that's that's good acting. Yeah. Well, well I I just want to let you know about that. Tom. By the way, how I met your mother. I have watched that show, but I got to say the concept of it is so complicated for a sitcom. Yeah. Um, I figured it out. How I Met Your Mother is a sitcom on CBS. What they do is. It's called How I Met Your Mother, and it's got this narration, and I didn't understand the narration. I didn't understand the concept. And finally, one day, it, I figured it out. It's uh, it's supposed to be a video made for the kids in the future of one of the characters. Yeah. And I guess he hasn't met their mother yet. No, and isn't, it, isn't the narrator Bob Saget? No, the narrator is one of the actors. Yeah. But and Bob Saget is not on that show. Oh, I, I it was him. <laughs> so you're a regular viewer of the show, and you thought Bob Saget was on. I don't know any of the names of the guys on the show. Well, you know, know Bob it. Saget. Yeah, I know Bob Saget. You, Bob, I don't. You know, we've had Bob in here. We'll have to ask him if he's ever done an episode of How I Met Your Mother. I don't think he has. Oh well, maybe maybe I'm confused. But I just want to let you know, Tom, and uh, I'm a long time first time. So have a good day, buddy. All right, you too. <laughs> it's funny. 1-800-5800-TOM. Connor on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Hey, I got something for you. Um, it actually just premiered on Monday night, so there's only been one episode. The show is called Worst Week. Worst uh, Week. Worst Week. It's a new comedy on CBS, I think, on after How I Met Your Mother or something like that. All right. Um, By the way, they, because of DVRs, I don't know what network most shows are on, and I don't know what day or time they're on. Well, that's exactly true. I didn't even watch this. Uh, I watched it online last night randomly. All right. So tell us about Worst Week. Uh, Worst Week is sort of a ba ba about just uh, a nice guy where everything goes wrong. It's uh, It kind of reminds me of Curb Your Enthusiasm, except the uh, main character isn't a big a-hole like Larry David. I like Larry David being a big a-hole on Turbian Enthusiasm. <laughs> As do I, but it's sort of a different take on that. But literally, I watched it last night, and I was crying with laughter. It was, it was hilarious. Really? That was the first episode, so it was the pilot you probably saw. Exactly. So, so the, real, the, real, the real challenge for shows, and I watch a lot of shows, is how the second episode is. Exactly, exactly. Because the, so the first episode is what they use to sell the show to the network. Oh, exactly. Then the second episode is really the first episode because uh, you watch the pilot, and now they actually had to get all these people back together and start producing a weekly show. So, Well, this one's also it's based on a BBC show, so I'm sure they're stealing a lot of material, so it, it has potential. I read about the BBC show, and didn't I read that it's like a very short series, the BBC yeah, show? Yeah. It, this, yeah, this one, it is based on what, sort of like how they did The Office and Extras, where I think it literally it was two seasons, because it's called Worst Week, so it was two seasons, and each, had, each season was seven episodes, and they did like a holiday special and called it a day. Yeah, that's how they do it in England. Kind of the right way to do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Instead of here, we milk these things to death until you, you just can't stand them anymore. Nobody sees the last episode of anything, because by the time they take these shows off, we lost interest two seasons ago. That's the way it is. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. 
What TV shows are you watching? Here comes Stefan on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much. Hey, uh, I just want to tell you, uh, I watch Weeds. My friend got me into it. It's a pretty good show on Showtime. Thought maybe you'd check it out because you've seen Californication. Yeah, I think Weeds now has ended its season, right? Yeah, I think so. Like, it's, it's kind of an off, it goes like around, it's not like regular, like on main channels. So it's kind of like different, but. Well, it, it, you know what they do on cable? They try to have as many of these shows come on in the summer when the networks aren't running any new shows. Yeah, there you go. And, and yeah, so I just, I, my friend got me into that. I started watching the DVDs and they're just, it's like the you know one of the best shows on there, and then another one which uh, if you're into cars at all is uh, Pink's, and it's a pretty cool show. You heard of that? Uh, the only Pink's I know about is a hot dog stand over on La Brea. <laughs> no, what this one is it's these uh, two groups of guys that work on a car and then they bring it to the racetrack and on the show they compete and whoever loses gets the other person's car. So you know whether you're into cars or not, it's kind of exciting because you know someone's going home without a car, someone's going home with a new car, so it's kind of exciting like that too. So. It was pretty cool. Stefan, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Josh on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh, the show you got to watch is Cold Case Files. Um, unfortunately, it's on A&E, but it's still a very good show. Don't get it confused with Cold Case, though. Cold Case Files is like a documentary, and basically just that. Uh, people dig up old Cold Case murder files and uh, investigate them, and all the murders are solved, of course. And there's nothing better than seeing... Uh, someone who murdered and raped some little girl 30 years ago uh, get a knock on their door after they started a new family and all of a sudden they're arrested again after they completely forgot about this whole thing. Somebody should tell them about Awatuki Sue. Yeah, they definitely should. I know. That'd be awesome for her to be on there. Yeah. You know, nothing better than seeing that. There's someone come to justice after so long and all the things they did. It's real interesting and the narrator's real interesting and all that kind of stuff. So Something you really got to check out. Sounds good to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Hey, uh, there's a show that airs on A&E. Uh, not the biggest fan of the uh, network, but uh interesting show called Paranormal State where the group of uh, these college students out of Pennsylvania State go in and uh, they have these cases presented to them of these hauntings, and they go in with a psychic and all these uh, investigative things and pretty interesting stuff, man. Have you Have you seen that at all? No. Oh, well, uh, let me give you an example of one case. There was this, uh, this demon hunting this family, right? And they had this, uh, the dad had a tattoo of the gates of hell on the back of his back. And so they brought a priest in and the whole nine yards, man, this guy starts shaking and spitting and it's all documented. And it's actually uh, very well documented. You know, some of these uh, ghost hunter shows, they try and debunk all this crap and uh, try and prove it wrong. Well, they try and, uh, they try and uh, help the family. By bringing in a psychic, they say these prayers to get rid of the spirit and whatnot. But they have a uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good documented video of some apparitions every once in a while and some things moving, some noises. It's pretty good stuff. Paranormal State is on what network? A and E. It's A&E. on uh, Monday nights at ten o'clock. Okay, very, very good. Thank you for that, Ryan. Well, well, Dean J. Demilio did his uh, research. That is the voice of Bob Saget on How I Met Your Mother. Caller was right. Caller's right, I was wrong. Don't say I never admitted I was wrong. I'm wrong. We see Bob all the time. He's never mentioned How I Met Your Mother. Never, ever. I was convinced it was one of the actors on there. All right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's a new TV season. What are you watching? What should we be watching? What should we be taping? TiVoing. DVRing. Recording. Mark on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. First time caller, long time listener. Yeah. How you doing? I just wanted to call and tell you about Mad Men on AMC. Awesome show. Uh, uh, now, that is a show I am watching. I've seen every episode of Mad Men. Okay, great. Yeah, and I, I highly, that. highly recommend it. The acting is great. The writing is incredible. But most importantly, that looks like 1962. Uh, the, the costume design, the design is amazing. It's great. And, also, and the to... stuff that happens to these kids, the characters are so complex, and the stuff that happens to them is so outrageous. Uh, also, I also wanted to correct you on uh, a show before, uh, How I Met Your Mother. The narrator is Bob Saget. I just, I just corrected myself. Yes. Okay, yeah. Dean found that. You're right. But I, Bob, I had no idea. Well, I mean, we know Bob, and I had no idea. Yeah. All right. I thought for sure, well, because he's playing the part of the older version of one of the characters. I thought it was one of the other characters. 
Yep. All right, can you blow me up? Mark, I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's the new TV season. What are you watching? Tom on the Tom like his show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Tom. Tom, you got to check out Scare Tactics. What network is that on? Discovery Channel. All right. There's a new season starting on the 30th at 10 p.m. It's hilarious. It's uh, friends playing jokes on their friends. And if you've seen Punk, this goes way beyond and out so far that Punk can't even catch up to the show. I mean, they scare the crap out of people to where they're crying, they're peeing their pants. There we go. One eight hundred five. I think he made that show up. Just, just again. Real quickly here. Here is uh, Tyson on the Tom Lika show. Hey Tom, a show that I think everybody should be watching, which is, only has seven episodes so far, is called Breaking Bad. Uh, Brian Cranston plays a uh, chemistry teacher who has a moderate income and a family and is diagnosed with some pretty aggressive cancer. So he comes up with the idea to cook pure crystal meth and get involved in that type of business uh, in order to provide some money for his family. Because he has nothing to lose. Interesting concept. The Tom Likas Show.